chance to win. You could never do that under the old system. You are absolutely right. I'm sorry to say, but you are right. Zagorska and Shudek, leaders. Langlois and Arquetto second, Marcou and Bunton third. And the two Chinese teams to come. Here's Pang and Tong, world bronze medalists. Beginning the night in second place. They will begin their elements with a triple twist. in the sequence triple toe double axle. The sequence is different from a combination jump in that you can make turns and steps in between the two jumps. Throw triple salcow, one of their highlights. This team gets their points from the big tricks, the throws, the jumps. It takes their quality scores up. Stake here. They need 106.4 to take the lead. And Rod, with a team that counts on those jumps to deliver big scores, without them, they face some difficulty in getting to the top. proficient team has a day of skating where they can't count on their technique, you begin to see the holes in the rest of the program. That magic is lacking. The, the purpose and, and goal of the program does not, is not skated with any kind of clarity. of speed on the axle. They're grabbing for each other. Footwork section done too far apart. It's almost as if the big problems seem to make smaller ones happen. So in the end, it's a program cluttered with small errors and a few big ones.
you would have thought this team was ready to take the lead here. But this Polish team is going to stick around in first place and watch the final team of the night. Former world champions Shannon Zhao of China next. This needed 106.4, but it kind of felt like a performance under 100 points, somewhat maybe even less than Mark Hu and Bunton, what they did. Oh, a real struggle. But we had big ex expectations when they started out. The triple twist, one of their most magnificent elements. Very high, very fast, very sharp. And they are strong single skaters as well. Generally speaking, you can always count on the triple toes. The sequence is excellent and very difficult, including the double axle. But what the pair lacks when they don't have all of those very hot and high-valued elements like the jumps and the throws, the, the lifts lend a lot to be, to, well, there's a lot needs work there. Their, her positions are never really beautiful. I feel like she's never fully stretched. And if there is a weakness with this team, it's in the, the sort of the, the beautiful moves, the beautiful characteristics, the gorgeous positions. They just don't have it. It used to be the Russians were so powerful in Paris skating, and they still are in the world, but China's taken that throne over really in the last couple of years. Zhang and Zhang won last week at Skate America. Well, and Bin Yao, the, the Chinese national points. coach, pair coach, says that they're aiming for all three medals when it comes to Torino. Well, look at this. They needed 106.41, and they might get it. In fact, they are just going to get it. 107.94. What do you think? They are the leaders now, just ahead of Zagorska and Shudek. Well, remember, Zagorska and Shudek had a long way to come from in the short program they may still win the free skate and that's something that the new system that you find hard to understand with the new system is that those placements from short and long will go wacky they are two all over the place champions and the leader